This video is sponsored by the fabulous website creator Squarespace. The best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a beautiful website or an online store. If you'd love to wear dresses but usually don't feel beautiful whenever you try it, it's not you, it's a dress. Here's how to do it. First, find out what part of your body you want to highlight. Then find a dress that does the trick. Because this is not about hiding things or trying to balance out our figures so that we all look like perfect mannequins. I'm all about celebrating our quirks and uniquenesses. Now, if you don't know yet what part of your body to highlight, go take a look at my general how to dress for your body type video. I'll leave a link in the description and there should be a card here somewhere. This is the rule. The eyes are drawn to two things, the details and the tight fitting fabric. Let's demonstrate by looking at the different body parts. If you, like me, want to highlight the shoulders, we only have to either add details or tight fabric. For detailing the shoulder, puffy sleeves or shoulder pads are the way to go. Everything looks more accentuated when there is some volume, especially if the puffy bits also have some pattern, structure or intricate details. Luckily for all of us shoulder lovers, both shoulder puffs and shoulder pads are hugely trendy. Think black velvety dresses with sparkles a la Balma. The other trick to draw attention to something is by going skin tight or even naked skin. The shoulders are easy to show off bare skinned, so anything off the shoulder or boxy shaped or halter necked will work. If you combine this with a dress that doesn't fit tight anywhere else, we'll draw attention to only our shoulders and away from the rest of the body. If you have big boobs that you want to highlight, you can just put on a skin tight dress or one with a deep neckline or an off the shoulder dress and it will draw attention to the puppies automatically. If you have smaller boobs and want to accentuate them, try either adding details like ruffles or patterns or by going skin tight without a bra. It will make even the tiniest tits stand out in a crowd. An empire dress will draw attention to only the boobs and kind of skip everything from the ribs down. I don't have an empire dress to show you, but let's see if I can create a similar shape with a skirt. Oh, and by the way, I've started doing short, informative little IGTV styling videos, so if you want more fashion tricks, go find me on Insta. A short, simple, long-sleeved dress in a pattern fabric will show off your arms. The longer the sleeves, the longer your arms will look. Sleeveless or spaghetti strap is another way to draw attention to the guts. But stay away from off the shoulders since they draw attention more to the shoulders and you kind of forget about the arms. Keep the rest of the dress simple since it's already hard to highlight just the arms if a lot of stuff is going on elsewhere. Puffy tops, flat skirts and high-waisted silhouettes will help show off that gorgeous waist of yours. High-waisted flared dresses and wrap dresses draws attention up from the hips towards the waist. Adding some detail like a belt will also make the biggest difference, especially in combination with puffy sleeves. If you want to up the sexiness, go for a dress with cutouts in the midriff or a two-piece dress with a cropped top so you can glimpse a bit of skin. If you have wide hips or a big butt already, go with a skin tight trick. A form-fitted dress, especially over the bum, will draw attention there immediately. If you go for a pencil skirt, sheath dress or a maxi dress, by hiding the legs you will lower the eyes up to the hips and butt without the legs stealing any of the thunder. If you have a smaller hip but want to give it all the attention, go for structured detail bottoms like a dress with a balloon skirt or ruffled hip. Low-waisted silhouettes, like the classic 20 style dress, move the eyes away from the waist and down to the hips as well. This isn't rocket science. To show off the legs, go short or go home. The shorter the dress, the longer the legs. And I mean being careful getting out of a taxi kind of short. If you want to take all the attention away from your upper body and let your legs be the stars, go for oversized or flowy on top, like a shirt dress or a shift dress, or even an oversized jumper. What if you want to wear a dress that is all skin tight everywhere? What exactly will be highlighted then? Well, you will show off everything, especially your most prominent features. For me, that means my wide shoulders, my wide hips and my long legs. 
If you have big boobs, those will stand out. If you have huge biceps, they will be the center of attention and so on. Once you're able to feel gorgeous in a skin tight dress, that's when you know you're completely happy showing off and accepting your most quirky bits. So good for you. What about the opposite scenario when you don't want to highlight anything on your body? It's okay, we all have those days where we're just not feeling ourselves and we just want to be kind of covered up and safe. For those days, I just let the dress be the star. We should all have one of these in our wardrobes for emergencies. The kind of dress that doesn't really fit tight anywhere and at the same time is so special and detailed that all attention goes to the pleats and the cutouts and the interesting shapes. This dress isn't tight anywhere and yet it doesn't look like I'm wearing a tent. It couldn't be more flattering and still quite sexy with the cutouts and the details makes it hella glam, right? Now, this is a completely naked back though, but otherwise it would be the perfect dress for those off days. Hope you got inspired to go put on a dress yourself and do let me know what type of dress that you always feel gorgeous in and if that's because it highlights a part of you that you love. Whatever your unique quirks and imperfections are, I hope that you appreciate and celebrate them like they deserve because those are the bits that make you who you are and we all know that you are bloody stunning, don't we? And you know what else is stunning? Yes, it is my coffee is a drug ugly Christmas sweater that David and I are selling over on our website. Go check out the link below. If anyone out there wants to create a beautiful site, maybe even a website where you show off your most gorgeous body quirks or fashion styling skills, you should definitely do it with Squarespace. They have great blogging tools to share your stories, photos and videos to make it easy to reach your audience. You can also auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr oh, and simply schedule your posts for them to be properly tagged and descriptions and titles will show up correctly. You can of course add your social media accounts to your site so that it's easy for your readers to find you everywhere. Squarespace also have great traffic analytics so that you can see how many people are visiting your site and how long they're staying for and where they're coming from and what they're interested in, like fashion or minimalist living for example. So what are you waiting for? Go get your free trial today at squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash jennymustard to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's it for this week. See you guys already next week. Take care of yourself. Puss puss and hey do. We're going to see the Mona Lisa. The fucking Mona Lisa. People are talking and laughing Smiling. to each other. People are having fun. And then you look at the fashion week. You're looking at the front row of people. And it's like there's people talking to each other and stuff. But there's not a smile, not a smile. anywhere. Yeah. Or it's like it's the most serious thing. Everyone just looking around and being like.